Hey there, this is Chad from Zombie Fight Shark. Welcome to episode six of our Thor walkthrough, full Thor walkthrough series. And uh, we're covering every aspect of Thor uh, in all its glory. Um, so we're on oscillators right now. And we're going to talk about the FM pair oscillator. If you have not seen the prior episodes... I'm going to blow through a couple of things because they were covered in a prior episode. Um, so the FM oscillator, what is it? What's it doing? So this keyboard, octave, semitone, tune, uh, we covered those in uh, episode three um, uh, when we talked about the analog oscillator. So, uh, so you can go back and watch that if you want an explanation of those things, if you don't know what they do. So what is the FM pair oscillator doing exactly? Um, and <clears throat> how can you make it musical? So, um, it's, it's got two, two, two waves here. So one of them carrier wave, one of them modulates the carrier. So sine wave. And so that carrier is going, it, it's basically kind of jumping up the harmonic spectrum. And then um, if you were looking at, um, if you're looking at all the harmonics that can be added to a note in sequence, um, I believe that's how that's jumping through them. They might have added a couple in there, but that's more or less that's what it's doing. So that's your carrier wave, that's your bass wave. Um, then your modulator wave, which you've got 32 options there. So first you got to turn your FM on for it to do something. So let's watch it change the wave in the oscilloscope. So you can see it. It's adding harmonics as we're turning the knob. And it's even more there. And it's, it's sort of just increasing as we go. But instead of them being harmonic frequencies, they're in harmonic frequencies. So they don't necessarily sound as musical uh, in some cases, um, but they can be used for effects. They're, it can be used to supplement another sound. Um, so... <clears throat> So not it's not really like this to me that, that's not the most musical sound but it mixes quite nicely with the square. So, you know, just just as an example, something to try, see what you think. Um so as you as you move through you're you can kind of see what that's doing. It's so if you jump all the way up to 32 So that, that modulator wave is a very high-end harmonic that it's adding to it, um, or multiple harmonics. So now the other, if you're going the other way, carrier. So it's jumped up an octave just then. And you can see it's kind of, so as we're going through, adding harmonics, some less musical than others. Very bell-like. So you can, 
I think you can see at least what it's doing. Um, it's going to be up to you to apply this in your music. Um, but the, the main thing there is I, I hope that you understand what's going on with it. So let's, let's just look at that. And so I just put low pass filter on it. And of course we're, so here we got a lot of harmonics. So you can see it's kind of take, removing some of those harmonics. Kind of a disharmonic bell, I guess. So there's an example of something you can do with it. Uh, all I had to do is throw a low pass on it. So I hope that makes sense and sort of explains what an FM pair oscillator is. Um, so it's the FM is frequency modulation. I don't think I mentioned that. Um, so you're, you're modulating the frequency of a carrier wave and this FM knob determines how much you're modulating it by. So that should have said that at the top, but that's what's going on. Um, easy for me to say. Uh, so now you get to go work it into your music and, and make it into something musical. So um, I, I hope that uh, that at least adds a little bit of understanding to, uh, to, to what this animal is. Uh, so like and subscribe if you appreciate this content. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, next time we are going to talk about the noise oscillator and lots of different types of noise. So see you then. Thanks. Cheers.